Give us a sense of just what you're thinking about everything we're seeing. Looking right now, we're seeing futures down this morning, the S&P and the NASDAQ, both negative for the start of this quarter. Obviously, early days, just a couple days in. What do you think is causing this shift in sentiment? And what are you telling your clients about portfolios right now? Great questions. I, you know, above above everything, it's the uncertainties in the market continue to rise. Um, you know, just with the recent announcement from OPEC, there is additional inflationary pressures. We happen to somewhat believe, uh, agree with what Gary, what his position on that the Fed may have some additional work to do. While we're seeing the inflationary trends trend lower, they're still above the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%. So when you look at core PCE, still in the 4% area, still a ways to go. And with that, the markets, we anticipate more volatility and definitely more uncertainty. And the markets don't, don't like uncertainty. It likes transparency and being able to forecast into the future. So uncertainty leads to additional volatility in the market. So we're, we're telling our clients at this point in time to be very patient and, and to be very, very discerning with their investments. Um, take risk off the table and only go with high quality investments at this point in time. Okay. So definitely trying to, for, for you, trying to avoid risk right now. I actually want to bounce something off you. Bank of America out with some new data on portfolio balancing. Now, according to their data, the average portfolio is now 52.7% equities, just a tick lower than March of 2009. Of course, that's following the great financial crisis, but also right before historic bull run in the markets. You can see the data right here for the people listening. Uh, today at 52.7, March 2009, 53.1% percentage of equities in the average portfolio. What do you think about this? Is this close to the way that you're balancing as well? Um, it's a little aggressive for our for our taste at this point. Um, we're, we're much more conservative. We're we're ranging. We customize all of our clients' accounts, so um, I have to keep things in a, in a broad and general um, scope. But we're we're our investment committee is is basically prescribing somewhere between thirty and thirty five percent in equities, especially after the tremendous first quarter um, results that that you know that we've all experienced in the market with the S and P up seven percent, Nasdaq gosh, almost 17 percent um, in one quarter that those are heroic and those are those are definitely returns that we haven't seen since, you know, since the, the middle of the pandemic and coming out of the pandemic. Um, interesting that you brought up the, the you know, one of the key data points uh -huh. um, pointing to asset allocation of 2009. One of the things that we're concerned about um, is the lack of credit um, and really what we're calling the credit crunch. Um, you're seeing small businesses only about 20 25 percent saying that they have access to the lending that they need in order to continue to operate. Now, that may not resonate with very many people, but to give you an understanding of that, that's 10 percent lower than it was in the middle of the financial crisis of wow. 2008. So wow. it's very, very low. And so and so the, the credit issue is the issue that we're really kind of watching and concerned about uh, a potential okay. contagion. So tightening credit is certainly something to watch. I want to get to where you're bullish right now. You're bullish on aerospace and defense. That makes sense because I know you're trying to take risk off the table. Obviously, a lot of spending on that. But you're also very bullish on artificial intelligence. Give us a sense of how you invest in that. And do you believe that the run ups already happened? And if you're jumping in now, you're getting in late or do you think there's more upside? I do think on a, I think on a longer term perspective. So for longer term investors, there still a, remains a play in artificial intelligence. But on a shorter term basis, I would look for market consolidation, which we anticipate having some of that with the volatility in in second quarter and possibly in the later second half of the year to then go in and purchase longer term positions um, in in AI.